Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to see about what is calculate function in DAX. If you are a beginner in uh, DAX and if you are really struggling what is this function is all about and different uh, DAX functions does, please watch my previous videos, introduction video about DAX that will be really helpful to be in a flow. In our previous video, we have seen row context and filter context. Just watch it. We are exploring uh, Power BI and DAX using a business scenario, Naga Garments. Different business questions are answered using DAX or Power BI options. Today, this business owner has a question of what he wants to compare total sales with a main brand sales across product category meaning like his total sales is 1 million and what is his main brand sales uh, that contributed to total sales maybe 0.3 million 0.4 million and he wants to analyze across different product category that is his first question the second thing he wants to find is like how much percentage each location is contributing to my total sales so basically he has three branches, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad and um, how much percentage, whether Chennai is making 40%, Bangalore is making 20%, how much percentage sales it is contributing. Let's see how it has to be done in tax. If you are, haven't subscribed this channel yet, hit the button right now to learn the concepts in Power BI and tax. Today's topic, Calculate. So those two questions can be answered using these two simple formulas in DAX that is Chennai total sales. We will see the question again. He wants to compare the total sales with main branch sales. Main branch is Chennai and he wants to use this explicit filter. I mean internal filter, right? Internally in the calculate function. This example we have seen in our previous example. Now, how you can use this to analyze? Let's see it in demo. Next is like all location total sales. That is for a second question. Like he wants to analyze that uh, how much uh, percentage each location is contributing. That can be achieved using this function. Calculate with all option. Let's see it in uh, action like in Power BI to understand it better. So we have uh, built this dashboard. So uh, we have this measure already created that is uh, in, my, in our previous video, Chennai sales. So this measure, what it does, it overrides the any filters, external filters comes to this location. Like you have um, the Bangalore sales, Chennai sales, Hyderabad sales. And if you have this Chennai sales, along with here the Chennai sales 1850 is repeated meaning like this filter context is not applied to this Chennai sales now answering this first question how this will be useful so he wants to compare the total sales with the Chennai sales so using this measure he can compare this is his total sales by each category when I uses this measure here now he can compare the total sales with Chennai sales the problem you need to understand is like why you need to create explicit measure for uh, item here as power bi is a columnar database these columns the values in your column this categorical value or dimension in in terms of business intelligence terminology these can be used only in the accesses like you have x-axis and y-axis but here the question is he wants to under analyze the Chennai sales as a measure measure or aggregated values Chennai is a location so for that you need to explicitly create a measure that is where your calculate function acts so now you got the real idea or real power of calculate function we have answered uh, Naga government's first question. Now coming back to the second question. 
like uh, we have uh, this sales his second question is all about how much contribution each location is making for his total sales for that this total sales has to be divided by each row correct so that it will be 20 percent 30 percent 50 percent that is the logic now to do that as we know this calculate function use it to override the filters i want to create a simple calculation any filters this is filter context right so instead of one location i will consider all locations okay let me write a quick dax for you so new measure I will name it as all location sales. I don't want to apply any filters. I just say all. Okay. That's all. So what happens now? So you see like all. Okay. Now you see like uh, also location sales when I put it in this table earlier you see the channel location this is repeated for all uh, rows now when i put all here it ignores all the f uh, locations okay so it consider the total sales now it, this is your first step to calculate your percentage now this value has to be divided by my total sales that gives me a percentage for that i need to create another measure New measure. Percentage of location sales. Okay. What I need to do this total sales. It's a measure. And I want to use all location sales. That's all. So the percentage of location sales and i need to keep it as a percentage otherwise what happens let us see oh no click on this table then choose now you see let us focus so now this is the thing so i need to convert it as percentage to see it better now you see my channel is contributed 35.61 of total sales and Bangalore is contributed 31.93. So this is what he can able to achieve using a calculate function. So now we have uh, answered uh, two of his uh, business scenario queries. One is to compare the total sales with Chennai sales is main branch sales. And uh, he tried to find uh, location wise percentage of contribution of his total sales. Now I want to give you a bonus information like this calculate function like all when i say all all the filters applied in this column is ignored whereas if i if you see when i click on online order but still this other filters applied okay if you see like this total is um, um for online order and for 2020 this is the total so whatever total in that current filter context with other tables other columns actually other columns are still applied okay it ignores only the column specified in this column but in some cases i don't want to have any of the um, conditions applied in particular table or any filters applied in that case instead of this column you specify a table all table let us see that let me copy this measure then create new measure all sales okay in this place instead of location i will say data that's it so what happens now when i go to focus mode 
no let us not go to focus mode that will not give us a clear picture now before putting that measure i want to show what is my total sales 5196 without any filters that is total sales across all years without any filters that is 5196k when i say all sales in this table so this 5196k is repeated for any combination now when i choose online order okay my 5196 doesn't changed even i choose 2020 my 5196 doesn't changed since i ignored all the external filters since i specify ignore consider all value in this table don't consider the external filters that is what this all so this is so powerful guys the calculate function alters your filter context okay whereas thus all location sales still having uh, some filter context that is uh, it excludes only um, location filters but applying other filters so i hope you guys understand the power of calculate function if you like this video share and subscribe to the channel comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset